Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna be playing some more Infamous Second Son and getting the trophy Coloring in the Lines. Now, it's a silver trophy and the details say complete all the stencil art. So, what I'm gonna show you in this video is first the map. So, I'm gonna show you every single piece of art uh, that you have to do. So, it's kind of when you go up and you spray paint um, the things, that's what it means by stencil art. And so, the ones that have the spray paint logo are the art ones. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the map like I am now and then I'm gonna run around the city and actually can do every single one now you only have to do the evil ones or the good ones or whatever you just have to complete them all within one playthrough so if you choose evil you do not have to go through and do the evil the good ones to be able to get this trophy it only counts if you get every single one within a single playthrough and uh, so yeah so that's how you get that trophy and so what we're going to do is we're going to start in the very first district that you show up in seattle and we're going to run from around from here and get every single stencil art uh completed yeah so i'm also using the neon ability to be able to run around forever because i've also got the upgrade that allows me to just continuously run uh without stopping so I'm going to first show you this, what it's like you to do it. So you just have to use your motion controller, like the motion part in the controller. You do not need the camera or anything to do this. And you just spray paint it all and you will get the, uh, well, you won't get the trophy straight away. You have to do them all. But what happens is once you finish spray painting, as you can see, you just color it all in. It will like go into another layer and you just add layers onto it. And so that was the layers I had to do for this one. And then what Delson does is he ends up spraying some extra stuff on and you end up with a pretty cool little image like that. So this is the evil one. So I am gonna be doing every single evil one because I just want to have a look at all the evil ones because it's my evil playthrough. It also gives you evil karma, so that's helpful. So I, for the rest of them, I'm not gonna show you me st uh, spray painting them. I'm just gonna show you me running up to it, starting it, and then it will just cut away to the very end, like um, the final product, and then I'll run away to the next one. So as you can see, this is in the top um, left-hand part of the map, and you'll find these couple ones. <coughs> excuse me and it's, as you can see that's what i'm going to do for the rest of them i'm just going to edit out the middle part and you're going to just going to see this stencil art complete and that's in queen's lane queen lane so the next one uh, we just keep running it's in this direction um i don't really exactly know exactly where they all are i'm just kind of going to ramble on during this video and as you can see not doing the greatest of gameplay moments just there just kind of i'm kind of actually just checking things out i'm trying out whether or not i can run through certain things because i notice you can run through like people um when you're in this in that kind of super running state so this one is right over here kind of like in the wharf area and we're just gonna start it up and this one is gonna be some awesome giant squid thingy catching a ship a cruise ship so that's that one done and the next one is if you just turn around and head back the other way you will head towards the next one and it is kind of near the seattle tower it's actually right next to the seattle tower i don't know if it's on no it's not on it. it's on the fence near it and so we're just going to do the evil one right here a man a plan and an aerosol can <laughs> it's this guy running over these bad guy um heads so what ha really happens is if the difference between the good ones and the bad ones uh you usually make the same picture except for the parts that he uh that dalson adds and maybe like the colors change like for that one he had a red shirt on and the good one i know for a fact that the, the guy mowing the lawn had a blue shirt on and so it's just little subtle things like that and you usually do the same thing you usually make the same sort of piece of art but then dalson like kind of changes it whether or not it's going to be good or evil so here we go we're on the next one some of them are on top of buildings or underneath things so that's why you may not have got this trophy and you don't really know um where you're looking or i don't know i to be honest i don't know why you wouldn't have this trophy i just do this i do every single trophy guide that's kind of for every single trophy guide for every single video that's just kind of what i do um done this from since the very start and mainly because we know what i've found is some of the ones that i'm very um kind of like reserved about doing i'm like surely no one really needs help with this one but sometimes the ones that i get like the most views on because you know either other people have done ones like the like usually 
what are like collectible ones and everyone's like oh yes people are probably going to need help with these ones um and so they make videos on it and then but they never make videos like on some of them that turns out quite a lot of people need help on uh which surprises me sometimes it's like uh like for instance like one of my most viewed infamous videos at the moment is the unstoppable trophy uh we have to beat the game on the hardest difficulty which is expert difficulty and you know a lot of people have viewed that video and so it's kind of like huh i didn't expect that many people to you know check out that video um maybe it's because they you know they, they thought you know you could change the difficulty right at the end or and then they find out that you can't i don't know what it is but yeah it's just something something i found interesting and why one of the reasons i do do You're this world. do every single trophy so here we go that's another one <laughs> they are pretty cool a lot of them they are very very interesting like uh pieces of art and that's another one that's situated in belltown district and i believe this one's in belltown as well we'll find out as soon as we've completed it what is it going to be oh this one the safe dropping the safe on top of the go <laughs> and as you can see that's also in belltown we're down to a 12 percent dup control so this is one of the last things that I actually did in the game. It's not quite the last thing. Uh, what I did is I did all the kind of um, missions and stuff. And then what happens is, is when you get under 30%, you unlock the showdowns. And then what I did is I went through and did the showdowns for the very last thing that I had to do before I got the platinum. Delson, and that gives me quite a few trophies. A gives you for once you get rid of DUP out, completely out of the city, you get. Uh, a trophy and then halfway like doing half of the district you get a trophy and then also <coughs> my jokes a bit dry 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 blah 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 talking's hard um and then the other one is what's the other one uh completing the showdowns yeah so you get quite a lot of i got quite a lot of trophies very quickly um right at the end so i think that what's that two four five trophies right near the end because you get the platinum as well so four trophies and a platinum uh it's pretty cool and then this one uh, Susia. um i don't know why that's an evil one it just is i'm pretty sure that might even be the same you know as a good one i don't know i can't quite remember unless there was something fishy about you know those sushi bits it was probably like pieces of the DUP guys and the other thing is you have to clear out um, the area before you can start spray painting it's, uh, it doesn't show me here but probably in the next one I will be able to show you that you cannot start spray painting if the DUP or people are shooting at you so as you can see that triggered me using my superpowers and triggered the DUP to start shooting at me it says clear all the enemies before you can do it so what I've done is just edited that out so that none of that happens and that was pretty cool. It's like a slide into a shock. Jaws is real. I've never actually seen Jaws. It's before my time. Um, which is quite interesting that something that everyone kind of knows about and yet not everyone's seen it. The next one we're going to go to is this way. I may take some pretty odd routes because I just like using the ability to run up the walls. And I do try quite a few, a couple of things like here. What I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to run along the wall. But you kind of have to run up and along it. You can't just run sideways along it. Otherwise you fall off the wall and you start falling down. <coughs> and the next one is above this, on top of this building. And I remember this one. This one's the one with the Seattle Tower robot. And it's kind of like, oh, boom, knockout on the DUP guys. Oh, I love that one. That one's actually one of my favourite of the art. And we continue on finding all of these ones. And you will have to find them in the top and bottom. Like the, the first island and the second island. So you have to unlock the second island before you can uh, get this trophy. Which most of you probably should know by now. By now you should all know this. And this one is a sky... <laughs> <laughs> with a smiley face and a chainsaw chasing after a DUP guy <laughs> that one's pretty evil um, and the next one I think is just I think that's all of them in this area so I think we're gonna be yes we're gonna be going to the next site the next um, what is called island by using video power 
I was like, I was really wondering how um, this would work getting across here because it sh it looks very much like you could have. Uh, I just didn't know quite how that would work. I thought I was wondering what kind of superpower is going to let me get across there, and then we get the video power, which gives you this cool wings. Especially when it's evil, it's all red and stuff, and when you're good, it's all blue. If you haven't done that already, and we're going to get the neon power so that we can run indefinitely. And here we are going to have to get rid of the DUP again. Oh no, we don't. Look at that. We didn't have to get rid of them. They just lost sight of me. True superpower. That is so evil, that one. Oh, but it's so funny. Oh man. I wonder what the good one of that is. I really wonder. Maybe the kid's not scared of it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure most of them, like, you do actually end up doing the same thing. But it's just like, a good version or a bad version. So here we're gonna just travel over to this part. I believe it is just down here. Unless it is above. No, it's down here. And we're going to be tagging some of the concrete that the DUP put on this city. Oh, yeah, that one's cool. Yeah. I wonder what the good version of that is. I wonder if it's different. That would be very interesting to find out. Because I don't think I did the good version of that one. Never mind. You only have to do heart one of them. And so this one is just on the other side of this building right here. And we're going to tag this bit. And what is it going to be? Yeah, this guy's running away from the crows that are attacking him and he's losing all his documents. And I'm pretty sure that one's just the same sort of thing. He maybe he's just got a blue tie and he, maybe he's not. Maybe he's running away from something different. I don't know. So here we go. We're just going running into the downtown district. And we will find another one in here. It is going to be along the side, and I believe DUP spot me here as I'm traveling along. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they, they didn't see me. No one saw me. And we're going to tag this up. Now this one, I think, is the one with the, the crab. Is this the crab? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, that one's so good. Uh. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the good version of that is. There must be there must be some really funny good ones. I think the evil ones are a bit more funny because they're just a bit more like cheeky. So here we go. Hopefully the DUP don't see me. I'm pretty sure they do. And we're gonna jump across here. And as you can tell by the music, they found me. Clear the enemies. So that's what I did. Come back and let's spray paint. This is the crab one. There we go. He's got the helmet, DUP helmet. That one's so good. Um, the next, so that's stencil art complete. So when you complete them, as you might have noticed, that comes up with a thing saying stencil art complete. And that's what will kind of mean that you add towards the trophy. So uh, this is the same for all of these kind of trophies where you have to do certain things like this. Now this one is on top of the building. I thought it was on the side of the building for a second. So I was like, nope, it's definitely on top of the building. So run up the side of the building. It's a pretty big building. I wonder how many stories that is. It's a lot anyway. And it's right here. So if you, you may have seen, already done this, seen it when you uh, finished like the fights with Eugene and stuff. The bear with laser eyes destroying the city. And that was in Denny Park. The next one is we're heading over here towards down past this hotel. And it is on the other side of here near the freeway kind of area. And you just drop down and you will see it down here. So let's do it. What is it going to be? Who can guess? Oh yeah, this one. Get away, TV people! This remind that one reminds me of Batman Arkham Asylum or Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, where he, the Joker, puts the TVs on those guys' heads. He also does that in all of them, I think, actually. Yeah, it's so creepy. It was so creepy when I first saw that. My best part in that game is when you find Scarecrow in Arkham Asylum. That is like one of the best moments in gaming. 
It was just like, oh my god, this thing is tripping me out. And it was so scary too. Far out, that part of the game was scary. So the next one we're going to do, I think, is... Um, where is the next one that it's gonna, we're going to go to? It's just over here. On the other side of this building. So I'm going to kind of run around it rather than over it. No, I'm going to run over and around. And I'm going to have to get rid of the DUP now because they're after me. So here we go. Clear the DUP out and retry. And this one is the, the guy looking... He's kind of like, you know what? You guys can be tied up and we'll just seal you in this building. Because there's no other way out. So if you just get spotted by the DUP, you could just run away. And then just sneak back past them. And they won't find you. So the next one is going to be... Uh, this is the A-Team one, if I can remember. Right here. And there are some guys still after me, so I have to go finish them off and come back. I don't want to brag, <laughs> but I really should, because that was fantastic. <laughs> I remember the other one. This The other one is like the money machine's like raining money out of it. Um, I, I think that's what the good one was. The evil one's stealing the money, which is good. Which is pretty, pretty cool. And the next one, this is in the, uh, the Lantern District, I believe. I believe this is part of the lantern district and we're gonna go over to here and there is a spray paint right here now i believe i do miss one of them during this playthrough and i have to go back and get it so um maybe there may be one near the end where i go back to the start or like an earlier district and have to go get that i'm not too sure i think i do miss one yeah i actually uh, yeah i remember which one i missed it's in the second island, but I do miss it and have to go back and find it. So here's the next one, just on the other side of here. There are quite a lot of them, just kind of in this port area. They seem to love making um, this, the cities out of islands, and just having the water around them, which is very interesting. Pretty sure Seattle's not an island. Pretty sure that is true. I've never been there, so I actually don't actually know. I've never actually checked on a map. I just kind of know sort of where it is geographically so here we go the other one is on top of this building it's on top of this um, half constructed parking structure <laughs> and there's the monkey and I'm pretty sure that's just bells they're, they're not spiky in the <coughs> in the other one in the good version and I thought that was going to be the last one and then I find out wait a minute I have missed one, haven't I? The trophy would have popped by now. So I just have a look around and I notice that there's one just down here. And then that is actually going to be the last one that I have to do. So just set a location. Just figure out where it is and then head that way. So let's run. Run. Run, forest, run. I don't know why that's just so funny, but it's so cool. Like if you're using your neon ability and you run up and then you use your uh, melee attack instead of him grabbing out his um, chain, what he does is he does like a clap and then it takes them out. It's so cool. I think I do it to this guy. No, no, I don't. I'm too nice. Too nice of a person. And here it is. And I remember this one very much so because it was um, the last one I had to do. And there are going to be some guys that see me, so I have to take them out. All taken out now. And now I can continue on to the art. The stencil art. So here we go, this is the very last one you had to do. Well, I had to do, so maybe not the one you have to do. But as soon as you get them all, you will get the trophy. And this one is some kids going to burn the DUP guys, that's so evil. And there's a trophy, collecting, wait, colouring in the lines, not collecting, it's colouring. Got a colour in the lines, don't go outside the lines guys, only inside the lines. So that's all we have to do, so thank you guys for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, hopefully you can now get the trophy, and now it's time for me to say, see you guys and girls.